All right, did you pick up a MacBook or a MacBook Pro, the 2016 model? Uh, or the previous generation 12-inch uh, MacBook, then you already know about the dongle life. So basically with all of this uh, new technology with the USB Type-C, yes, it will improve the speed uh, of transfer rate data, all of that. But of course, now we're going to have to start buying additional accessories, which could be quite expensive. So today we'll be taking a look at the Satechi, uh, the USB Type-C pass-through hub, which also has the two USB 3.0 ports, micro SD card slot, and the regular SD card slot, along with the USB Type-C connector as well. All right, so we'll go ahead and open it. Now all of the items that I do mention here today will be in the link in the description below, so be sure to check those out. I have the space gray uh, color here, so basically it'll match my uh, MacBook Pro 2016 model. So taking a look closely, we'll see that it does show the name branding here, which shows Satechi. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to use this USB Type-C port and plug it into one of the side ports here on the side. Now it could be either on either side, so we're gonna go ahead and put it here. Okay, so as you do plug it in, you'll notice that the blue light will blink on over here. And we also have an Apple USB Type-C to USB adapter. We'll go ahead and open this box up as well. Okay, so very clean look. Here we have the USB Type-C connector to the regular USB port over here. Okay, and we'll go ahead and plug this in into the side over here. Okay. All right, so there we have two dongles that are already started over here. So we'll go ahead and try out the SD card slot and see how that works. All right, and as you plug it in, you'll see that it'll automatically pop up right over here showing that the SD card is connected. So we'll go ahead and see, take a look. And what we'll do is we'll try transferring over a media file to see how quick it is. It looks like this video file is about 160 megabytes, so it's not so large. All right, it looks like that video literally took about three seconds to transfer over. All right, so the speed isn't that bad. And who knows, you may actually have an SD card slot that you might want to try out as well to see how well that works. So we'll go ahead and plug in one of these as well. Let me see if this connects. All right, so it is very difficult. Once you plug in the SD card slot, it's very difficult to get it out. I'm not even sure if I put it in the right way. Let me see if I can use this to pull it out. All right, so I did use that to pull it out. I'm not sure if I put it in backwards or it doesn't even really show you which way to put it in. Let me see if this works. Okay, so I'm assuming that's the way it should have worked. So. The SD card slot, you gotta put it in facing up if you're plugging it in here on your left side of the Mac. The bottom SD card slot, uh, you have to put it in backwards this way in order to see if, if to make it work. So let's see if that makes a difference. So we'll go ahead and plug it back in. All right, so it did work. So what you need to do is the micro SD card slot has to face upwards if you're plugging it into the left side of the Mac. And the regular SD card slot, you gotta plug it in uh, the opposite direction in order to have both of the devices working at the same time. All right, so since we now got that out of the way, we're also what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to use the USB 3.0 ports down here on the side to see if it works with everything plugged in. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in one of these USB ports here into this drive. Okay, we're gonna wait to see if it pops up. And there you see it did pop up as well. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this other port to plug in the iPhone. So we're gonna, let me go ahead and grab a lightning cable. So we're gonna grab this lightning cable, plug it in this USB port over here. And we're going to plug in the iPhone. So 
So all the cords do work very well. You see everything is plugged in and connected to the PC. We have the iPhone already connected as well, along with the portable hard drive. So the port works very well. The only complaint that I have is that it's not very durable when it stays in the MacBook over here. Uh, let's say if I were to pick up this MacBook, it is very loose over here. So let's say by accident, you leave all the ports in there, you pick up your MacBook, uh, it could actually damage the USB plug-in over here and it could also damage your MacBook as well. So that's the only thing that I'd be very careful of. Uh, but other than that, it looks like all ports are currently working. Uh, you also have to make sure that this micro SD card slot is facing upwards and the regular SD card slot is facing uh, towards the ground in order for both uh, sections to work at the same time. And as you see, the Apple USB connector is very simple. Uh, it only has one USB port uh, to plug in. Uh, so we'll go ahead and try that as well. So we're going to grab a regular USB thumb drive, plug it in. All right, and you see that it is plugged in over here as well. So here's why you may want to consider having both. So yes, by having one USB port drive over here, you are able to take advantage of two USB 3.0 ports. Now the disadvantage is that you're going to have all cables plugged in on the left side over here. Now I recommend having at least two USB Type-C uh, dongles over here. The only reason is because you don't want to have uh, all USB ports uh, plugged in on one side of the MacBook. Uh, it'll be a lot more easier if you just had maybe just one plugged in here and you could take advantage of the other side to uh, charge or to plug in something as well. Now if you want to see what these uh, accessories go for, don't forget to check in the link in the descriptions uh, below and you'll be able to see what they actually go for at the time of you watching this video. Alright guys, so that pretty much sums it up for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I will bring in more future better content for you to review and um, 